double click on brightness and look at it it's smoking instantly you kidding me so all we need is a little bit of air and we got the fire going instantly world's smallest brightest flashlight let's see what's all about boom look how small that is and it is 25,000 lumens first of all you want to do is charge it and remove that uh, protective plastic screen I already did that and by charging it it's actually a pretty cool charger magnetic charger I like it because that way you're not going to break the port you just kind of lock it in that's a future charging that's for sure because all these plugs always break on me on the phones and stuff so anyways 25,000 lumens will it start the fire let's find out oh there is another safety with those powerful flashlights you always want to have little plastic between the batteries and the light bulbs because you don't want it by mistake to light on and looks like it has this kind of batteries which is actually awesome because you can buy them and replaceable that is so nice that is replaceable at some point they not go work that well so you can buy new ones so press it one time bright looks like on and off is the same hold it brighter and even brighter even brighter and that's it what if you press double all the way brightness if you press double and then press one time to turn it off i love it this is so simple look at that press on press off press and hold it's just gonna keep going brighter one two three four so four seconds of double all the way to brightness in case there's a bear attack or animal attack moose or you can double and double and you can scare off some animals with 25,000 lumens flashlight and press it off real quick that's awesome so because it's 25,000 lumens you can almost start the fire with it sometimes you could so let's see if this one can do okay we got newspaper double click on brightness and look at it it's smoking instantly you kidding me so all we need is a little bit of air and we got the fire going instantly so you can use it for self-defense against animals especially with this mood you can use it a regular flashlight on a low position and you can start a fire with it whenever you're using it on super high high brightness this whole flashlight will overheat so it's not meant to be used on super super brightness for a long time because it will overheat and batteries will overheat and it will shut off till it cool off but yeah amazing flashlight i really like it a lot so tiny also we need something dark so let's start again it gets really really smoky instantly sometimes you got blood it a little bit or something okay there you go and we got the fire going so we can start the fire cook whatever electricity is out no big deal because we have a flashlight we can start the fire with like maybe newspaper or something like that it has to be something soft like that and dark so the paper can absorb the light and get on fire but yeah this is why you want to put safety in the middle of it between the batteries so that way it doesn't light up by mistake or kids don't get it because if you use it on max uh, obviously to the camera it's not a big deal but in real life you don't want to look at the lights because it's going to hurt your vision okay flashlight in the dark here right now it's setting one and it's on the brightest look at that I'm about 100 feet away the whole mountain lights up that's pretty awesome and if I just press it one time you see first setting second third fourth fifth five seconds it's really really bright it's crazy it lights up the whole mountain as you can see and I'm very very far away from there wow check this out and if you point it at the house 
Look at that. The whole house lights up like crazy. And it's a big two-story house. It lights up like it's a spotlight. So as you can see, for such a compact design, very powerful.